Hi, if you are watching my previous video how to install uh, local AI in your Synology NAS or QNAP NAS through the Docker containers, then you probably had a similar question like me. Is it possible to improve the performance by adding a graphics card? Because GPU cards uh, have dedicated VRAM, which usually helps uh, to boost the performance of the AI model. So this is something what we're going to be exploring today. Can we actually install graphics card in the Synology 1621 Plus and therefore we can improve AI performance and we can also enable Plex transcoding. So I wouldn't give too much of a hope for DS420 Plus upgrade but there is NVMe to PCIe slot upgrade. Maybe I'll give it a try, we'll see. But my main focus is on this 1621 Plus and I got this uh, extension cable from X4 to X4 which allows me to install the graphics card. It doesn't need to be X16 because this NAS only has X4 slot anyway so it's capped at that speed. So we can use the same slot to slot in X16 card. It's not the nicest setup but uh, we only do this for testing reasons. This is MSI card GeForce GTX 1650. So even though it's made by MSI, uh, it has NVIDIA chips inside anyway. So we're going to try and build this monster. So I found this article on Reddit, which I'm going to use for guidance. This is how to install graphics card in DS1820+. Uh, this is a manual how to do that to improve your Plex performance. But we're going to be using it for different purposes like AI and Plex. So we could shoot two birds with one stone. So there's a manual how to do that. So I'm going to zoom into laptop and we can go through the steps and see if this is something that's going to work or this is just a waste of the time. And there is a beep, so it has booted successfully. So now we can have a look in the admin panel what's going on. Is this card seen? Because we haven't installed any drivers, nothing. We just physically connected the card and that's it. So okay, let's head to control panel and have a look. So if you go to info center, you can see that PCIe slot one is occupied. So there is a graphics card. So first step is to install simple permission manager, but as you can see, it's not in the general app library. So we are currently using 7.22 version of DSM. So here's this simple permission manager package that we'll need to install first. So you can see here, there are two different versions. One is for X64 CPUs like AMD, and Celeron on their second option like ARM CPUs, Realtek and so on. So we will need to go for uh, x64 version. Okay, now we can manually install the package we just downloaded. Simple permission manager, click next. We need to accept that it's third party app. It could be virus. You never know with third party packages, be careful. But we say we agree and we click next and we are done. Then we can go to installed apps and click open simple permission and check if it's active or not. So we need to activate it. Click submit and now this package is active. And now we need to install our NVIDIA GPU drivers. So here's the package for it. This is for x8664 bit CPUs, which means you cannot install this graphics card in ARM based CPU. And I wanna say thank you to GMAS3MA who converted these drivers into installable package file for Synology. So now we go back to package center, click manual install, select our NVIDIA drivers and click next. We again need to agree that this is third party app. It could cause damage if you don't know what you're doing. Let's click agree. Accept the terms, next. And the manual says you can choose any of these options. I'll choose pass through environment. So again, Thank you to RoboJet for creating this. Okay, the driver is started and uh, we can see the app is installed and it's all running. So now we need to go back to Simple Permission app, click Users and find NVIDIA Runtime Library. Tick that and then you can close that. And then we need to go to the Control Panel and enable SSH. Here's SSH. You can change the port to keep it more secure but uh, for testing reasons, you can enable and disable this uh, service. Then you can open terminal. If you're a Mac user, then you can SSH into the server. So SSH and then server IP. This is the server IP in the URL. And then you can log into your NAS. 
So you can do first command uh, video daemon fix. If you don't have privileges, you will need to change to a root uh, mode. So you can type sudo i and password. So now you have root access. And now we can do command video daemon fix and then we can reboot the NAS. So if you are a Windows user, go to putty.org and download putty app and then you can use command uh, PowerShell uh, option to log into your NAS through this command line. If you want to switch user to root, you can also execute sudo i and then run nvidia daemon fix command. So after reboot, we need to go back into a NAS again. Password for the power user, when I do sudo i, is the same password I'm using for account named Ed. So they're actually both admin accounts and they have the same password. It just switches this Ed account into a root mode. So now when we have finished rebooting the NAS, we can check if uh, GPU is working. So NVIDIA SMI is a command to do that. And you can now see that NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 is detected and working. So that's already a success. And we should be able to see the graphics card. Let's go control panel, info center. And as you can see now, the graphics card GeForce GTX 1650 is detected. You can see available memory. You can see the temperature, GPU status. Everything seems to be green and okay. So yeah, now we have successfully installed 1650 graphics card. That was pretty easy. You can now open Plex up. We can go to settings, transcoder, if you can't see hardware transcoding option in settings, you probably need to go premium. So you can click this button, upgrade it, get either monthly or lifetime license, and that should give you a option for hardware transcoding. Once that is done, go to your settings, choose the server that you want to manage, go to transcoder option, and then there is a hardware transcoding device. Okay, if anyone has an idea of what's going on, why I can't see graphics card in the Plex, please let me know. I remember there was a QNAP manual showing how to enable GPU card. Maybe we can apply this for Synology as well. Otherwise, we successfully installed it, made it visible to a NAS system. I could show you how to install the Docker, the container version for the Plex, and make the GPU available to it but maybe not on this video. So let me know if you want to see that. Let's check out if this graphics card is being used uh, for Docker containers for our LLM. Let's test out our tiny llama. Let's say, hi, how are you? And see what happens here. And there's no processes running, so it's not being used. So let's check first if uh, GPU is recognized inside the containers. So here's a command to add GPU to your containers. So you can see it's using only CPU power. So we need to reconfigure our container for it to use GPU. So we need to do some changes and allow pass through for the GPU to go through the containers. So we click on details, then we click on our Olama, go to configuration. So let's do the change here. So we have added these extra lines here. So driver and media. Now let's have a look if we are going to be using GPU now or not. And now you can actually see that's using GPU power to generate answers in our LLM. Look at that speed, much, much faster. So let's have a look at um, DeepSeek. Because before we could see it was quite slow. So let's compare it. Hi, how are you? And you can see DeepSeek is still taking longer to reply. You can see it's using quite a lot of uh, GPU power. Obviously, this is a old, weak GPU card. You would want at least eight gigabytes of VRAM on the graphics card. But uh, this is what we had on the shop, so we are testing this. And then after some thinking, it's actually giving out uh, answers fairly quickly. Okay, we have successfully installed graphics card into DS1621 Plus uh, using the PCIe slot. And we managed to uh, link our AI model with this graphics card. So it's not using CPU power and you can see it's working much, much faster now. If you are curious how to install this LLM uh, language model AI engine on your NAS, then you can go to Digibyte channel and have a look. There's one of those videos available. 
how to install local AI in five minutes. So you can go through the video and figure out how to do it. We also tried to link it with Plex, but our native Plex app doesn't work. Uh, if we are going through the Docker route, there were instructions available. It would uh, work probably very easily, but with um, Plex app, dedicated app, um, you will need to help me out what I did wrong because I wasn't able to see from the drop down list on the Plex uh, this graphics card. So yeah, put in comments what I did wrong and uh, if you want me to make another video how to specifically make this graphics card available to Plex, I'll do that. Otherwise, if you want to see how to uh, link graphics card with something weaker like Celeron based DS420 Plus through NVMe slot and the graphics card also let me know, I'm going to make a video like that. But otherwise this has been a video on how to install graphics card into your Synology NAS. And thank you to all these people that created packages and guides how to do this. Without community like this, none of this would be possible. So if you want to see those uh, videos coming up, follow and you'll be notified. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.